Good morning, guys. It's a beautiful day. I think it's gonna get really hot today, but I can't control that. We're gonna make the best of it. We're gonna do some uh, black bean second pass for weeds. And I've got a new operator, the big Swede. Well, he ain't new, but he's new to my spray team. Just due to, he's done with corn and we had to clean him out and his sprayer's clean. We're just gonna use his sprayer, which is actually best because it has that individual nozzle control and this over spraying kind of burns the soybeans. So the less overlap, the better. You know, what I don't understand is, who do they make these gloves for? This is a size extra large. It's tiny. Like, isn't extra large supposed to be for people with big hands? I can't work in these things. But I also don't want chemicals seeping into my skin, so I'm gonna have to get something better. So as of now, I think we're only gonna be doing one field today. Due to, you can tell, it's, it's fairly breezy right now. It's maybe 10 miles per hour but i think it's going to start cranking up in another hour or two up to 15 to 20 and we got some neighboring fields that we would rather not harm but this is the black turtle beans we got some grass pressure mr water hemp here <sighs> and fumesafin gonna be tough to kill these buggers but you know, it's better than Bassagran. But what can you do? And uh, other than that, over the weekend, fortunately, we had our first rain of, well, since we planted, basically. We did not get all the farms, but we had anywhere from seven tenths to four inches. One field got four inches. That one's too much. It's too much water, but it is what it is. Other than that, some didn't get any but for the most part, most of our acres, I'd say about 75, 80% of them got rain from about here and east, didn't get anything. But I'm grateful for what we did get. So we got a load for him mixed up, waiting for him, he's down there. Here's this bean field that's literally dying. Not gonna plant that variety again. And I don't know, Randy's been talking about possibly interseeding some really, really early day beans in those spots that are so yellow and actually turning brown and actually dead. I don't know how well that's gonna work in the middle of June, but you know, something's maybe better than nothing. So in between uh, spray intervals here, we rigged this up a little bit better. We added a, another hook here to hold the hose because this kind of drooped down over that. That's just some little mods that we've been doing to this trailer. You don't know how you want it exactly until you're actually out using it. This was one thing that we wanted to change, so that's a lot better now. Otherwise, it was something like this here, business, covering up my tail lights, which is not only illegal, but dangerous, which is why it's illegal. So I'm going out to do a uh, black bean second post the first field. I'm kind of glad I get to sit in the sprayer this morning. I'm kind of exhausted. Chad Brody came over to my place last night and we tore a bunch of stuff and junk out of my shed that is actually getting fixed uh, from the storms 13 months ago. And it's getting a roof back on it now. I'll maybe have to bring you guys over there and show you it. But yeah, we went over there with the sledgehammers and the forklift and cleaned up the interior of all the old 50 year old junk that's been on the walls and stuff in there. And I'm tired. Chick kind of got hurt too. We'll maybe have to show you that. Uh, but yeah, we, we behaved. I'm just, I'm just tired from doing that. It was a long day in the sun yesterday and then we worked uh, pretty late at my house. So I'm glad to be in the AC, the massage seats, the radio, which I have to turn off for you guys. Don't want to get in trouble. And uh, just go up and down the field for a little bit here. 
So uh, this is actually the first bean field I've sprayed with beans in the field. I did spray some pre-plant, pre-merge. These rows are skinny. I don't like this. I'm used to corn. There's less of this going on. But Chet put the RTK globe on, so I'm actually using Auto Track, which I should have had this in corn. This is nice. Yeah, we're doing 20 gallon work, and I've got uh, my nozzles are one zeros, and the fastest I can go is 11. Then they're maxed out. That's at 40 psi. I think you could bump it up, but also you don't really want to screw up spraying weeds in black bins because if they get away from you, you're screwed. So we'll do a good job. Not that I don't always try to do a good job. I should probably just stop talking. I'm spraying, going back and forth, and it's working. Yeah, that's why I slow you down. You should just get a 1,200 gallon self-propel. 
No, they're no, too I slow. Like, I, I don't like want my that. brakes. I don't know how to run this either, though. I so. like my brakes in between uh, fills. I can have a sandwich if I pack the lunch. Hey, you're spraying with me now. You ain't gonna get a brake a little faster than the other operator. Yeah, I gotta mix you up another little batch. This is 20 gallon per acre work, so yeah. it's gonna go out quick. Do you have the rates? What yeah. Did, what did we just mix? I'll get to that. Also, for other people out there that spray and have a water boy, there's like 130, 140 acres over here. 142, I think. You just mixed me up 120. Yeah. So I'm going to drive around Plump Hole and still be 20 acres shy. Does that make sense? <laughs> no. <laughs> like I said, I like my brake. I'm dropping, I'm dropping my brake. <laughs> I'm doing this all in one. Oh, bye. <laughs> all right. He does actually have a good point about that. It wasn't maybe the smartest thing to do, but it just, I had time and I just made a big load. So he's overhanging the boom into the soybeans because this will not hurt soybeans. But Liberty will definitely, when we come with Liberty here, will definitely hurt those. So we want to spray over the line so when we spray the soybean field, we don't have to uh, get so close to the black turtle bean field. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. I got my, uh, my big 35 acre batch mixed up. It didn't take long, but I thought it would be a good time to mention our main channel sponsor agricultural chemical solutions in the link in the description you can find out more information about them but a lot of these chemicals definitely all of our ams i believe the fumesafin clethodem all that stuff came from them it's been working great if you guys have any interest or need it check out his pricing it is very very competitive pricing good products um, if you mention larson farms and you're a new customer i believe you get a discount and a gift certificate to uh, Farm Focus to get merch. So, yeah, check them out. Definitely, uh, definitely get some good pricing there. So, since we're out here, I'm gonna walk out and take a look. I know I showed this in the last video of what we're looking at in these on this one variety here. It's never had this salt issue or whatever here before. I don't know if it's bean variety, no rain. They actually that stuff in the ground actually comes up when it's dry so it's a double whammy maybe not enough defense on the bean and then number two it's just been too dry and making the salts worse don't ask me what that means that's just what they say it's what they say who says i don't know people oh man it's not good though like it's goes from you know pretty decent looking there not too bit terrible to i mean they're they're dying here there's nothing. All the leaves are dried up and brown. They're just crispy. Not good. Not good. So what Randy's idea is, which I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not gonna. I shouldn't say my opinion because I, I don't know if it. You maybe can't do any harm by interceding. Maybe going at an angle here with the bean planter with some really early day soybeans just trying to plant in here and try to get something better than like I mean this is a large part of the field here and on the other side of the driveway too and it just is I don't know I've never had to do that before like we've had to replant like wet spots and stuff that drowned out never had to come in and do like a third of the field before though decisions and then right here just a small corner they're beautiful I mean, those are nice. The whole field looked like this would be second passing it, and now that they got some rain, a couple weeks, and they'd be dang near the canopy or canopying. Ooh. But then you look behind me, and it's just ugh, ugly. And then what's even more strange about it is this field here, same variety, planted at a different date, a little bit later is the same variety as this field. And yeah, there's some yellow out there and there is some spots that are, they look similar, but nothing like this whole, this is just horrible. And it's hard for me to believe that the ground can change that much across the road, like 60 feet away. Definitely strange. Well, I just talked to Randy about this situation and it sounds like we are going to be picking up beans. Brody's actually going to do that. 
as soon as I load our air cup one more time, we're shutting down due to wind reasons. And we get to hook a bean planter up to the sprayer tractor and get it ready to interseed an early day variety, I guess. So this video should get interesting. He's back! Hello! We're going planting beans this afternoon. What? Yeah. Not out here. Yeah. Oh my. I might as well fill in on mine where it's dead too. <laughs> what are we putting in? O ones? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe O eights, which sounds awfully late, but now hold on, ain't there? Ain't there edibles in it? Better than that, maybe. Maybe. The only problem is, is the good patches out there that he's gonna have to turn in, and well, we all know what's gonna happen when you yeah. turn on them. So do I have to land roll? I suppose. Better hook up. <laughs> all right, last load for the day due to wind, and uh, sounds like we got got a lot to do today now. Well, I saved you the hour of the painstakingly unhooking, taking the sprayer monitors out, and putting in the planter control boxes. Now, there's O9s in there, too many of them, from uh, replanting all the low spots and everything, and they're not defensive at all, so we get to clean that out now and put new, new ones in. Luckily, we did clean out all the row units, uh, I don't know, a month ago, so we don't have to do that, but we do have to uh, clean the hoppers out and there's a lot in there. Since there's so many, and that is one downside to a DB, they're really hard to clean out them hoppers. What we're gonna do, we're gonna use this. I ain't messing around. I gotta clean it out because there's dirt in here from cleaning up rocks with it, but we're just gonna use this. Eric's going to get the skid loader from Dad's. It needs to come back anyways, and we're gonna use skid back, suck them out, and hopefully dump them in a box. I'm gonna hook it up to the other side, so we gotta get a little closer here. You ready up there? Oh! Are you struggling? Put it between the stairs. There we go. There we go. Pull the trigger. skid back now we got to put it in that bag they might run out there but we've overfilled it oh uh, yeah yeah that it would be how out of control is this gonna get it could get out of control if we better put them down here here we go all right dump <laughs> we might need a forklift to get this righted here. We got a problem! Stop. We should have had the forklift. Yeah, we should have used our brains here. We need the big sweet power. <laughs> What's going on here? The bags. Grab a loop. Hold on. <laughs> Let me get my phone secured. Grab onto that. 
Little baby Brian Scott. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I think I pulled tore my pectoral muscle. <laughs> this is a lot. It's tightening up. Now imagine if you would have planted empty like a normal operator. Good job, boys. This works slick. I nice. found our new way of doing I'm doing this every time to switch to black beans and varieties. <laughs> Now comes the time to refill. We're gonna see if we can reach or get to the refuge tank. We're a bit short. How many do you do, Brody? How many guys does it take to put beans on a camera? <laughs> a lot when you do it this way. Look at these, our automatic talc dispenser. You know, I got that bracket for the shop truck boom. That man filler design thing. Yeah, the one that almost killed somebody and we quit using it. Right. Is that normal? Yeah. Yeah, that looks like a proper kelp job. Right here. <laughs> hey, you, you look like Brody here shortly. Nice plug up. It, it, it does kind better. of uh, rattle through the beans, so it works okay. You ready? Yeah. We can dump the whole thing. We've got two out of the three bales, one more to go. This should be empty. There should be about, what, what did we put in there? 1,950 pounds in this side? If our calculations are at all correct, it should be about 1,950 left in this box. How many do I put in there? I don't know. It's not like chemical. What's our scale thing? Brody! You're ready! He's about as enthused as this for this as we all are. We're into the project for three hours now. Talc don't burn your skin. I really thought chasing planters and farm equipment was over with for the spring. Guess not! So here's the runation part that is gonna happen. Obviously, you gotta drive in the field and turn and run stuff over. So here he is out in the field running them over. So this is really crappy here because these actually had soy grain on them and they're still dying. Normally that like cures the problem. So I don't know. I'm gonna ride with Brody or should I check them? I'm gonna talk to him, make sure we got a good plan. Cause we're gonna, we're gonna seed these in at an angle rather than straight with the rows, just so that the row unit ain't on what has already been planted, destroying it. Try to minimize what is there if they make anything. You remember how to operate this fine unit? I really don't. <laughs> it's soft here, you're sinking? Yeah, I had to unfold right away. <laughs> I think we got an inch or eight or something. Does this hurt you as bad as it hurts me? Oh, here we go. <laughs> Lower her down. She's gone. We're seeding for the second time. No, we're not. You don't have the vacuum on. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. I don't know what's going on. Not seeding. Not seeding. Oh, wait. It hit the wrong master. Oh, yeah. We got a Raven master in it. I want to back master. up a little bit since I had to get tracks here. Yeah, might as well run them over twice. That's fine. Let's try the double planting. Okay, it's planting. I've never seen anything. Planting. Oh, she's getting kitty wampus. This is just something I've never seen done before. It just doesn't even look right. Well, we're on a headland right now. Interplanting at an angle. Running over crop. Not that it's very good anyways. Can you tell by my face of disgust that I'm not pleased about any of this? That's why I think you should be doing this and I can sit at the shop and not be disgusted. <laughs> well, I think it's better that you do it here on financially involved in this disgrace. Right? So now I just turn around right here. <laughs> These are good beans. Yep, raise up. 
This is turn. This, turn. Waiting for the dead spot. <laughs> the problem is I can't see where I've gone. Can you ever? Yeah, I can see where you can. Lower it down. Check. <laughs> Do you wish that I could ride with you every day? This It'd be so much fun. This is terrible. <laughs> Look at this. We put the planter a little deeper. Yes, we did get a rain here, but uh, is he gonna run me over? But I just I don't want him to be right at the the moisture and then dry point because it ain't gonna take much for the bean to sprout and then run out of moisture. So I sunk him. We lowered it a little bit more to hopefully get him in a little bit deeper moisture. This is just something. You can see it, it does pretty good besides the wheel tracks. But then as the row units get on top of the rows, it just looks like every uh, 30, 40 feet, he's crossing the row with all the row units. So we're getting this checkered look. Oh man. June 20th planted soybeans. I wonder how that's gonna turn out. It is gonna be a nightmare for harvest. Oh, can already tell you that, but these yellow spots always are not good anyways. Yeah, this is this is definitely that over there wasn't too bad that very he went through there, but this is just horrible. spot now we uh, got a bunch more fields to do oh my yeah these are physically dead absolutely dead nothing left of them they've cannibalized themselves well is what it is he's got my new beans seeded here oh, water hemp I've been noticing been being out here too we, it's time for second pass and then we're just planting the beans so that might in, require a third pass hmm and then this is uh, on the other extreme here this did not get any rain this field and this actually whole area and you can see how bad this corn is suffering see how it's rolling up and turning like white I mean it's not just this headland here where I'm walking it's all throughout the whole field and that's where the corn plants trying to protect itself from the Sun and the heat because it don't have moisture. See how this leaf is supposed to be nice and you know flat, taking sun in, and it's rolling up trying to hide. Like that. This isn't terrible, but it certainly ain't good, and you can see the whole field is doing that. Definitely need rain. This one definitely has not gotten, I don't think, a, a drop of it since planting. But with that being said, it's June 20th and it's above knee. So that's a good thing. Look who I found here. Oh, it's dusty there. Doggo, he's mowing. I found Brody, went and checked a couple other fields that he's gonna have to probably touch up. And now he's to the big area, the big field that needs a lot of attention. So he's gonna be here maybe the rest of the day, actually, I wouldn't doubt. literally called me and it's like where do I even start so just pick a spot well he's gonna keep going here he's on this half section that's just a disaster down here it's nice but up on the hills and the ridges not good he's not planting now he's just taxing but with that being said that's what our day and how some of our fields are it ain't all of them it's a, definitely a variety issue so it is what it is and we're dealing with it. We'll keep you updated how that, how this turns out for us. But I think that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next one.